Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the 12 supplements that can stop the progression of kidney disease and can even change the quality of your life. These 12 supplements can manage the root causes of the disease. So without further ado, let us begin. So let me review first the glomerular filtration process in our kidney. So patients with kidney disease have a damaged podocyte, this gray structure. The nephrine protein here is down-regulated, so causing a release of large molecular albumin uh, releasing to your urine, uh, causing proteinuria. The number one supplement that you need to take is magnesium. Magnesium is very necessary in the homeostasis of the body. Our body has an electrochemical conduction and magnesium has a calming effect. It has a, a calcium antagonist effect. It is responsible for regulating the sodium and calcium concentrations. Depletion of this magnesium can cause an increased influx of sodium inside the cell and also can deplete your potassium level. Deficient of magnesium can cause an increased influx of sodium and calcium ions inside the cell causing depolarization. Depolarization which means excitations. Now if your cells are excited over and over again for a long period of time, this is detrimental. This is dangerous to cell and causing damages. So that's why eating food high in magnesium is very important. Taking this supplement 400 is necessary if you don't eat enough magnesium. So but if you can eat seven to ten cups of green leafy vegetables then you don't need magnesium supplement now only if you think that you're not enough but like i said you have to have magnesium the most important uh, magnesium that we are trying to increase here is the free magnesium which is located inside the cell not the extracellular not the one that you are testing in the blood work in the comprehensive metabolic profile in your blood work it will show the magnesium even if your result in the blood work is normal you could be deficient in the intracellular in the ionized intracellular magnesium and so magnesium has a lot of effect in the blood. it has a calming effect antagonist antagonist of the calcium uh, anti-inflammatory this can reduce also your blood pressure so the next one is vitamin d3 which is uh, the uh, taking vitamin d3 and also improve your blood pressure uh, if you are if you are deficient in vitamin d3 the doctor will prescribe you with d2 and take 50,000 international unit per week I believe that taking vitamin d3 uh, every day spreading out the 50,000 maybe 5,000 in the morning 5,000 in the evening spreading out the dosage in a week is more beneficial and could get the maximum benefit of the power of vitamin D3 the next one, vitamin C it is also an anti-inflammatory antioxidant and it can increase the absorption of iron also so by by taking vitamin D C can also reduce the cancer cell formation. Next one is vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 in the form of MK7, which is long lasting, is very important, 180 milligrams per day. This is to counteract the effect of blood in your arteries. Vitamin K2's function is mainly to direct where to deposit your calcium. If you have vit if you have calcium in your diet, the calcium will bind to uncarboxylated osteocalcin because K2 has a receptor site of this uncarboxylated osteocalcin and will be deposited directly to your bones and teeth. So if you are deficient in vitamin K2, the calcium from the diet will be more likely deposited to your clogged artery. And also, vitamin K2 has also a receptor site of the deposporylated uncarboxylated matrix GLA protein which is responsible for picking up the calcium phosphate deposits in your clog, sweeping out your clog and improving the clog of your artery, increasing the elasticity, reducing the stiffness of your artery. Okay, the next is omega-3. If you eat salmon, black seeds every day, uh, you don't need omega-3. But if you think you know, you're not eating salmon or any other food that are rich in omega-3, then you must take omega-3. Vitamin, 
vitamin B12 in the form of methyl B12 is also necessary uh, to have more energy and to fight free radicals. The next one is 5-MTHF. This is 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. This is an active form of folic acid. It is very necessary to take the methyl group because folic acid is toxic to you if you are, especially if you have a mutation, a gene mutation, which is 5 to 20% of the Americans have this kind of gene mutation called 5-MTHR. 5-MTHFR, which is methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase. If you have this gene mutation, it will destroy and you cannot utilize this folic acid and it will cause inflammation by increasing your homocysteine level. The next one is sodium bicarbonate. This is a good pill to to improve your acid base of the acid to improve acid base balance of your body so you must maintain your carbon dioxide somewhere around 22 to 26 level if your carbon dioxide in your blood work is below 20 maybe 16 17 18 19 you are acidic your body is acidic next is 500 milligrams of hesperidine this is a powder coming from the citrus peel it has an anti-inflammatory anti-cancer property the most important is this hesperidine can block one of the uh, kinase enzyme which is called calcium calmodulin dependent protein kinase which is responsible for most of this problem most of the symptoms yeah next is 500 to 1000 milligrams of curcumin from turmeric now, if you want to fight inflammation, if you have kidney disease, you must take 500 to 1,000 of curcumin, not turmeric. For every 500 milligrams of turmeric, there is only 50 milligrams of curcumin. So you must take six capsules, six capsules in the morning, six capsules in the evening, and maybe six capsules before you sleep. But the subject of my experiment, she only takes before three times and now six capsules in the morning and six capsules in the evening, making it a 600 milligrams of curcumin per day. She's fine for seven months now. She has no more swelling, no more symptoms, no more fatigue, no more edema, high blood pressure drop. Okay, the next one is bioperine. This is just to increase 2,000 times the absorption of curcumin. So that you can get the maximum benefit of curcumin, take this biopurine. Black pepper from the diet is okay, but I, I think it's best to take biopurine. The, the last one is coconut oil. Because curcumin is a fat soluble substance, you must take coconut oil to increase absorption. These 12 supplements based on our experience reduces reduces the inflammation reduces your blood pressure we, we, uh, produce more energy by activating the nrf2 pathway the methyl and uh, folic acid can also produce more glutathione to fight more uh, to fight the free radicals that contribute to your inflammation Vitamin D3 can improve your hemoglobin, can give you more energy. Magnesium can balance your body to a proper homeostasis. If you want to follow the experiment that I've been doing to reverse the IgA nephropathy, which I have an evidence that there is an improvement in the kidney function, and we all know that IgA nephropathy has no reversal in the conventional treatment of the medicine right now the current the only solution is to they do dialysis and kidney transplant with these 12 supplements that she's currently taking her kidney is improving so if you want to know more about that one and follow these experiments please click subscribe and notification so that you will be notified Thank you for watching.